Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another beautiful day. Uh, the sun has come out and it stopped raining momentarily here in Los Angeles, <laughs> which I'm quite happy about. Uh, today we're going to be doing something I've been wanting to finish up and finish working on for a while. This was the canvas that we did in our Leaf Me to Play video. That was the one where I picked the leaves from my jacaranda tree and I dipped them in the pearl and I was flipping them onto the canvas hoping to get a, a nice pretty result and I wasn't getting what I wanted because the canvas was still wet and several of you had also suggested that it would work better when it was dry. So I did actually do a test. Ignore the rest of this canvas, but <laughs> if you look down at this part, I was actually playing. I had some brulee left over and I still wasn't quite happy with the way that it was looking along these areas. It was a little blurry, a little fuzzy. So I've decided I want to do something in a completely different direction. I have these beautiful stencils of ferns and leaves that kind of look similar to the jacaranda that I was originally playing with. And this one kind of looks like my pepper tree, which is what I was going to try next. So we're going to play with some of these stencils and the Amsterdam pearls and also some of the, this little piggy pigments today on this canvas. And I think it's going to be really, really pretty. So. The original one was Leaf Me to Play. I will link that up here for you and also in the description box. Uh, we're going to be using Golden's Extra Heavy Gel Gloss or Heavy Gel Gloss today and I'm going to be mixing that directly with the pearls and also directly with the pigments. So no crazy stuff. Let me grab some gloves so we don't get our hands all messy and we'll get started. So I really like using the stencils. I love the fact that it gives a sort of raised three-dimensional edge to it and I really like using the this little piggy pigments with the gel gloss because it actually dries so beautifully and it's a nice crisp defined edge which is really really pretty which I really like so there were a couple of other ones stencil ones that we did we did a koi fish one and we did a turtle one that was really cool and in the one with the turtle I did a lot of layering and with a bunch of different colors so that's kind of what I want to play with tonight we're also using the Amsterdam pearls um, the green, the pearl green and the pearl blue and the pearl yellow. So we're going to get some color shiftiness going in there also, I hope, at the end. So I'm going to move this out of the way for a moment. I have some little Dixie cups here that we're going to use to actually mix this stuff up. Let's start with a nice scoop of the gel gloss. Uh, there's no exact measurement for this. I guess depends on how much you want to use. But, you know, that's probably a tablespoon, almost a tablespoon. I'm just going to put that in there. Put your lids on the gel gloss right away because you don't want to give it a chance to dry out. The first one I want to actually use is that pearl yellow. That's the pearl white. And there's the pearl yellow. So that's the pearl yellow and the Amsterdam pearls. So, And I love the way this one dried in that pour we did Kitsune. It was so pretty when it was finally dry. It was just gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just going to literally squeeze a little bit of this in there. Maybe about a teaspoon. And I'm going to mix the gel gloss together with the paint. And we're going to use that to apply it to our stencil. Okay. So I'm not really crazy. Just mix those two together. Make sure they're combined really well. Okay. And the next one that I really want to use, we'll use it, put that on the side for the moment. I want to use this gorgeous one from this little piggy pigments. This is parakeet. You see that HOA? And it's this really pretty, like kind of limey green color. Very, very pretty stuff though. And the same thing. Gel gloss and a little bit of the pigment. And mix them up. And I kind of get a bigger scoop of this parakeet because I kind of want more of this color. So I'm gonna add just a bit more. Let me get a different stick. Clean stick. And I'm just gonna take a scoop. That's maybe half a teaspoon right there. You should be wearing a mask. You don't breathe in the stuff. If I was wearing a mask, you would be able to hear anything I'm saying. Okay, just mixing that together. There we go. And we're not gonna use a lot of this stuff, so. And the pigment will come out looking like this when it's dry. It's not that far off now, but it's going to be good. Okay, so that's our parakeet. Um, the next one I want to use was lily pad. This one is really, really pretty, and I don't have that much left Can of that. Can you clear the parakeet? Hmm? Can you clear the parakeet? Okay. 
and get another scoop of our gel gloss. Lily pad in there. Ooh. Not much. A bit more. Okay. Don't breathe that in. Now for me, this is one of the most fun applications of using the pigments, is to use them in the gel gloss as for stencils and to also use them um, in resin. I love. Okay. Next one I want to do is I want to do another one of the pearls. I want to do the pearl green. So in case you haven't realized it, I've done the pearl yellow and we have the parakeet, which is kind of a counter color towards that one. And now I'm going to do the pearl green and we have the lily pad. So we're going to start with that and see where that lands us. Okay, I'm just going to take a scoop of that. A bit more. Okay. I'm going to mix those two together and I'm going to put a green, a G, on that one for green <laughs> and I'm going to put a Y on that one for the pearl yellow so I know which one is which. All right. All right. Come on over here, my friend. Let me get some of my tape. HOA is in the studio here with me today. Uh, I wanted to take a moment and thank you all so much for all of your good wishes for HOA. He had a little arthroscopic surgery on his ankle. No, you can't see it. Put your foot down. Stop it before you fall. <laughs> he's trying to show you his boot. Um, but he's doing much better now. He... Uh, He's been walking around, he got his walking boot yesterday and he's been up and around a little bit and still taking it easy and using our continuous icing thing. So he's doing really, really great. But thank you all so much for your good wishes. It meant so much to me and to him. And uh, the flames really made him laugh. So. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you guys. Okay, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna start with this one that kind of looks similar to what the jacaranda leaves look like. There's this one blob right here that I don't like. So I'm going to intentionally put that on top of the blob that I don't like and we're going to start there. I'm just going to use a small piece of tape to secure it. That'll be enough. Okay and let's see I think I want this one to be the pearl green. Okay so I'm just going to take a small palette knife and dip it in there and then we're gonna smooth this over and then I'm gonna layer it. So I'm gonna do more than one layer of these. And just very gently scrape it onto there. This is the Amsterdam Pearl Green. Okay. That's cool. I'm gonna take this off. I do want them sort of doing this kind of cascading effect. So I think the next one is going to go kind of like there. But I want to take that piece of tape off because I don't want it to hit the first one. Hmm. Maybe we'll go this way first. And I'm going to do that same thing again with the pearl green. don't need a lot for this. I think this is going to be really, really pretty with the contrast of the original painting. So let's take this one off. That's so pretty. I like it. I'm going to wipe this down real quick with a paper towel. Okay, let's do one more. Sure, Do another one. Mm. I'm gonna go down a little bit more, and then when these have a couple minutes to dry, then I'll come back and do it again. But I don't want to put it on top of it when it's wet. Maybe we should flip it over, in a different direction. 
Can we? Yeah. Yeah, but I just touched that one. Okay. <laughs> we'll go like in there. switch to a different color and a different stencil for a minute. Okay, I'm going to come back to the stencil in a little bit. I just want to give these ones a bit to dry. Okay. I did touch that edge, but that's okay. Um, baby wipes. Can you reach a pack of baby wipes right there next to you? Baby wipes are definitely your friend when you're working with gel gloss. Makes it very easy to clean everything up. Very reasonably priced. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to put him over there for a second. And we're going to switch to a different one. Let's do this fern. I'm going to come up this way with this one. But I'm going to start this one up higher because I want to have a few of them staggered in position. Let's use the, uh, hmm. let's use lily pad on this first one. I'm going to grab a little bit of this. And you guys feel beautifully the gorgeous shimmer, but this is such a pretty color. I love lily pad. Good stuff, huh? Um, and I want to do one overlapping that one. So we're going to wait on the overlapping one and come down a little bit. It's okay if it's going to be a little bit touching right there. I'm not going to stress about it because, like I said, I do want to do multiple layers. I'm going to do that again. It's lightly. You know, this canvas is dry. It's been dry for a couple weeks now. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's wipe it off. I'm going to switch colors. Uh, let's flip it over too. And use the other side. Let's go. I want to wait to do a couple more in there, but I'm going to go one this direction first for right now. And let's use that pretty parakeet. Who's a pretty parakeet? <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I was a kid who had parakeets. Did you? Mm -hmm. My mom had some parakeets. I think their names were Peaches and Sunny. They were Bunny and Peaches. And I have a picture of my mom's cat with Peaches and Sunny standing on her head. Ah, <laughs> I thought you were going to say Peaches and Honey hanging no, out of her mouth. No, 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 no. <laughs> he is a very nice cat. He didn't do things. Let's take this one off and see what the parakeet looks like. Okay, that's cool. Got a baby wipe. There's a little smudge over here. I'm just going to wipe it off. And I'm going to wipe that off with paper because I don't want to leave any wet surface on here. So, okay, let's do another one. Of these and remember we're gonna do layers of these so I think we're gonna go down here with this one. Okay. 
I guess the inspiration for this is really the, the front yard of my house. There's like those jacaranda trees out there that are so beautiful. I just do that like weeping willow sort of hanging branch thing. It's so pretty. And uh, I just love it. It's the green. Okay. Yeah, that's looking cool. All right, I like that. I think we are going to definitely need to put a little bit of each of the opposite colors. So I'll put some of the lily pad on this side and some of the parakeet on this side too. And I think I want to do a couple with the pearl green or the pearl yellow in there also. Fern. What do you think, Atrey? Should we put in one more plant? I kind of love this one. Or should we do some more of these now? Because that's, yeah, let's do some more of that. Those have had a minute to dry up. Dry now? Dry a little bit. No, they're not completely dry, but they're not soaking wet anymore either. I'm gonna turn this this way. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this beautiful one. Um, I think I'm gonna go this way with it now. I'm gonna come in through here, like off the corner. And let's see, so we did the pearl green. Let's put some of the pearl yellow in there now. Just a few of them. I really like this color a lot. I was very surprised and happy with it in that last painting that we did with Kitsune. Because it looked white for a long time. <laughs> and then when it was totally, totally dry, it was this beautiful pale gold color, which was really pretty. Let's take that one off. Well, I can already see the pearl green starting in there. Okay. I'll put this one. I think we're gonna go right over here, like on both of them. And I'm not gonna put a piece of tape. I'm just gonna hold it. Okay, here we go. And that one that we did with the turtle, I think my favorite part, and I think you guys agreed, was where I layered them, layered the colors of the same stencil on top of each other and like those sea plants, the grasses and coral and uh Okay. That's good. Cool. Alright. Brave enough to do one right there or not quite yet. Let's do one more over here. So wet still no? Well I mean it's okay. I always like my table afterwards because it's so simple. All right. So let's leave that for a minute. And then I think I want to come in. I can think of either this one or this one, HOA. This one? Yep. I'm gonna put that one kind of there. So what I'm thinking of here is sort of, well, you know, maybe we'll go over here with it. And we'll bring in that pearl green. I'm gonna start this one off a little higher up again so that we can layer it. Okay, let's use, what have we not used yet? We used the parakeet, we've used everything, okay. So, what do I want this to be? Let's go on with the pearl green on this one. Just because we have the piggies over here. To make some contrast in here. I think I might just do one or two with the pearl green and then switch to the piggies with the same stencil. husband of awesomeness. They <laughs> <laughs> got all excited. I was born ready. 
Yeah, I know you were. Semper Paratus. Mm -hmm. I think we need one more like, in through there. But maybe I'll wait just a minute and let those dry a little bit more. Let's come back to the ferns now. And I'm going to go this way on this one. I'm not going to be scared. I'm just going to dive right in and do it. Because if I overthink it, then I won't do it. <laughs> I do want to do the pearls. Okay, so, okay, so we're going to come back in with that pearl green on this fern now. some of the pearl yellow this time. I'm actually going to flip the stencil over this way. I think we're going to come up this way through there. And I'm not going to tape it because it's sitting on top of that other one. So, grab some pearl yellow and just gently, not pressing hard at all. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's so pretty. I love that yellow. It's really cool. <laughs> and this is like one of the things that I tell you guys is, is experiment and try new things. Yellow is not my color, but I really like this and I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't tried it. So yeah, that's cool. this one and do a couple more on there and let that side a minute to dry up a bit. And do one in here. That was the pearl green, right? So we're going to use the pearl yellow and just do one. Okay. I think maybe we need a couple more up there. I'm going to finish this up and then I will show you guys the dried results when we are all done. But let me turn this around so you can sort of get an idea of like what's happening. I mean, but I love this stacked layering with the different colors. And these are the Amsterdam pearls. So they are going to be different colors. So.
I think this is really, really exciting. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the next day. Um, I love a lot of things about this. Just hold still for right now. That's, uh, my daughter's holding the painting. Say hi. <laughs> um, I love the way that these dried. I love these little tiny ones over here that are more simple. I think it's so pretty. That was the pearl green on top. And then the pearl yellow on those two on the bottom. I love the simplicity of that. I think it's really beautiful. And I really like these ferns. I love how crisp and defined the edges are. And I love the layering of the different colors. Can you tilt it around a bit? You can see the pearl yellow on there and the pearl green and then the lily pad. So pretty. And then up here in this part, I love this shape. I think it's really, really beautiful. And again, I love the layering of the colors. So I think this all came out really cool. The only thing I wish was this canvas was a little bit bigger. I think there's not quite enough negative space in here between the ferns and I kind of wish that top ones were coming down a little bit more but this has given me a lot of ideas of things that I want to play with and I'm really glad that I got to show you guys the layering with the different colors also that technique of doing a few and letting them dry for a little bit and then coming in like 10 minutes later or 15 minutes later and adding some more there is a little bit of residual color on here but I actually don't mind it makes me feel like there's a lot of movement like things are blowing around in the wind but if you didn't want that effect you simply would just wait a little bit longer and then come back and do it once that first layer is totally dry but I love the layering especially in this one it's so pretty and how you can see all the different color shifty you can see the pearl yellow down here on the bottom and the pearl green so this one came out pretty cool um, I definitely want to play with this again, maybe on a bigger canvas and maybe not three different stencils, but lots and lots of ideas for this one. So thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I really appreciate you all. I hope you enjoyed this and got inspired to have some fun with some stencils. You know, it doesn't have to be just one stencil in the middle of a painting. It can, you can do lots and lots of different things. And I really do love the texture on there, especially on these parts that there's like a little bit more everybody who sees this one the first thing they do is reach out and touch it <laughs> which is kind of fun so thanks for being here i'll see you guys next week have a great day bye bye